Hello everyone. Greetings and I'm back. I'm so excited uh, to be back. I've been gone for a little bit. Work got um, got me. I've been in court getting a couple of new cases and I'm also doing real estate. Um, I don't know if you guys know about Inglewood, but it's growing. Um, we have two stadiums coming. So there's lots of new development, lots of things to do. It's so exciting what's happening. But this is important. I wanted to get on because I was reading an article that caught my eye. It says, my stepmom stole my inheritance. So I'm like, what is this about? And the gist of it is, um, it's about blended families and how many times when usually it's the man, they get remarried, they may have a small, medium or large estate, and somehow their children are left out of the original trust or will that they had. And it gets a lot of families fighting and in court I'm sure you've heard about the celebrity children that are fighting their father's wife, their stepmom. So a lot of uh, it's undue influence. They're saying that most of the men are a little older, the women are younger, and they've influenced the person to actually change the will or do some things that can cause the will to change even if they didn't do it knowingly. Let me give you an example. So you're divorced, all of your assets with your former spouse have been decided in a court, a divorce court. And so now you go off with your assets and you're remarried. You had a trust and your children are still named in it but you sell the house and you and your new spouse buys another house. That could be a problem because now, especially in California, it becomes joint property. You buy it as joint tenancy, even if it's community property and you're buying it with your wife, unless it's clearly stated. So that's one thing. And that can happen to all of the properties if they're sold and reinvested in something else when you're remarried that is community property in California. I don't know how it is in your state, so that's why it's important to have an estate uh, trust planning attorney. Um, that's one way. And also with the bank account, you may come in with a large sum of money and this other person may not have as much and you guys start putting money and she's using money out of the account and she's putting whatever she has in the account. It's called commingling. So now you're commingling funds, which becomes community property. So let's say the main breadwinner is the man, he passes away. Everything goes to his wife. Even if he has a will or a trust, the children are saying, no way. She's going to get everything. We're going to fight this out in court. We believe it's undue influence. He told us that this uh, was going to come to us. So that is what I wanted to talk with you about today. What is the best way to protect yourself when you actually remarry? How do you protect those assets? Did you know that in the last 10 years, that the blended families, they always have divided their assets unevenly. So the husband will give more to his children and the wife would want more going to her children if her husband died, which is her children's stepfather. That's another reason the children begin to fight. Um, how do you protect yourself? How do you not commingle even if the cute young wife is saying, no, we want to sell this house and buy another house and, you know, something that we can have together. And so I wanted to leave you with that thought that if you have a blended family, you have a property prior to the marriage, that property can come community property. And I gave you two examples. So you own a house, your wife new wife moves into that house, 
Or even if you don't own a house, you have cash from the divorce and you buy a house and you're remarried already. That's community property. You have a large bank account. With, you have stocks and bonds. And your new wife is taking money out. You put her, her name on the account. She's taking money out. She's putting money in. You may have several accounts that she's doing that with. That becomes community property. So I wanted to give you that a little tidbit so you can think about that. And it's called commingling. That's one way to avoid making sure that your property uh, before marriage is not usurped by your new wife and that your children, hopefully you have them. If you don't, then it's nothing to worry about. But if you have children, they won't be left out. They won't, it won't be a fight after death. My mom, my stepmom stole my inheritance. That's what we're talking about. And I gave you a couple of examples. I'm going to come back in another video because if your attention span is like mine, that's all you can handle right now. Um, so I'm going to come back and give you the ways to protect yourself, the smartest ways to do it right. Okay, I hope you learned something. I hope you actually have something to think about. An estate planning attorney will help you decide on how to make these things happen. So I'll be right back with another video for you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for coming. If you have questions on this video, my stepmom stole my inheritance. Leave it in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to um, answer any questions. Thank you again for listening to this video. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take good care of your families now. Bye-bye.